We work on retinal degenerations in our lab, um, so conditions, uh, blinding conditions such as age-related macular degeneration um, and retinitis pigmentosa. Our research is really looking at cell death mechanisms in um, blinding diseases. So um, at the back of our eyes, there is a, a layer of cells called the photoreceptor cells. And really, even though there's hundreds of ways of causing blindness, the kind of end result for most of these diseases is cell, these death of these photoreceptor cells. Cell death itself isn't actually a random process. It's really quite a programmed process. Um, but there are actually only a handful of what we call executioner proteins that can tell the cell to uh, commit suicide, if you want. And so even though there are these hundreds of different ways of causing blindness, there's probably only a handful of proteins at the end that are involved in triggering the cell death mechanism. This current research um, is to investigate the role or the function of one of these executioner proteins. And this executioner protein hasn't been looked at in the eye before. So it's, it's known to be very, very important for cell death in the brain. Um, and actually the retina, um, which is the um, part, it's actually an extension of our brain. Um, so anything that's involved in the brain in terms of cell death may also be involved in retinal cell death. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we want to look at this particular executioner protein. And the reason this is important is because um, if we can find a role for this protein in causing cell death um, of these photoreceptor cells, then we provide a target um, for therapeutic manipulation for not just one type of blindness, but actually many, many types of blindness because um, it's a unifying process. It's so important for us to investigate the mechanisms or the underlying processes of um, disease. Um, in this case, blinding diseases. Because if we just um, look at the symptoms of disease, then we can really only treat the symptoms of disease and not prevent them or you know, even better cure them. And what we want to do is provide new targets um, for therapeutic manipulation that may ultimately slow the progression of disease um, and so you know, help restore people's sight.